we came up with this model, and I think it's, it's a unique model. It blends college kids teaching the high school and middle school kids as peers. We've got professional coaches who kind of lead the way in terms of the, the professional standard. I'm directly involved, so there's an obvious link with the university. Um, it, it's just, it's naturally evolved into this, um, into this, this wonderful mix. And I heard about it through some friends at my middle school, and um, we decided that they were auditioning, so I decided to give it a go. At first, I, I didn't know what to expect, because I never had an actual, like, really like well-known conductor conduct this before. And I just really like how he interprets the expressions in a piece, and I really like how he brings things out and makes them so clear. He's really great with students, with kids, and he knows how to rehearse and how to get us ready for a concert. And it's such a rewarding experience to be able to share that moment you know, together with the students, with John Page, and with all the, the coaches as well. I've played in a lot of youth orchestras um, throughout my life, and this one in particular has a huge focus on sectionals, which I think is very important. One, two, ready, go. It gives everyone a chance to, one, practice their part and have a lot of instruction on their parts that you don't really get. Like in private lessons, you'll mostly work on solo music, and here you get a lot of instruction on really great orchestral repertoire in a small, like really friendly, intimate, and fun setting where it's okay to make mistakes you actually do work on the music you need to work on as a smaller group. So you need to be able to connect as an oboe player with the flute player beside you. You need to be able to, to tune to the bassoon or to the clarinet behind you. And in sectionals, you can take the time to, to do that and really work out those relationships. Because the, the relationships in the wind section, for example, those leadership roles, they all have to know each other very well in each other's playing to be in tune and then their section follows them. That's where it comes from. It always comes from the small relationships. And if you play in a big, big group all the time, you just don't have a chance to explore that. In the beginning of rehearsals, we'll have about an hour to an hour and a half of, of just sectionals, which will include either just the first violins or the second violins or both of them together. Sometimes we separate them into even smaller groups where I'll go from you know, one room, visit the firsts, go to another room, visit the seconds and see how they're all doing. Um, one more time, then going on to the trio from 57, and even a bigger drop in dynamic, but also... So in sectionals, the coaches say, this is the part of the bow you play in. These, this is the bowings, this is the fingerings. Here's how you, this is the art articulation here. And it unifies them. And it makes them have, that, again, that sense of unified purpose as a section. Could we, could we try that section slowly? Three bars before it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. I really like the sectionals because it, I noticed when I play in my jazz band and when I play in my rock band at home, a lot of times I get dependent on other musicians and what they're playing, and it helps a lot to know what I'm supposed to play and helps to get in tune with everybody who I'm playing the same thing with. Ready, go. The camaraderie is great. I would say it's the best I've ever seen out of any youth group that I've worked with, and that's what I feel sets TYP apart. Sometimes you get other groups that are just into themselves, like they want to just be like the best, but here you get really pure interest in the, the music and playing as a group, which is rare. You don't, even in professional groups, you don't often see that kind of like glue that makes them like kind of uh, play as a team, basically. And that means listening, watching, and being aware of what's coming next. So having an, an, an awareness of what do you have to do. That would be great. Let's do from figure two. I know John pretty well. I've gotten to know him really well this semester. He just, um, 
he has like kind of this childish spirit, I guess, and it makes it, him really easy for the kids to relate to. He has the magic to catch your attention. Instead of just staring at the music the whole time, you would like to raise your eyes and look at him and then just follow up and do what he wants you to do. He really like brings the entire orchestra together and with your sectional coach, they really focus on uh, just your part, but John Page focuses on the entire thing together and making it sound as good as it can and he really makes it sound that great. These guys are the highlight of my week. Um, for me, it's, it's pure joy. These kids are some of the most respectful, the most uh, get with it people I work with all week. Like, they really get the sense of, this is a great thing to do. This is a privilege to be here. I know, I, I'm doing something here that I, I just don't do for the rest of my week.